I'm here today with one of the stars and the director of my big black, my beautiful big black dog. My, my beautiful, beautiful big black, black dog. dog. So tell us a little bit about the show. So it's a piece of gig theatre, musical, like a poetical musical. It's like going to a gig, but there's no mosh pit. You're sat down. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it has depression at its heart, but it isn't depressing. It, um, it's hopeful and joyous. Um, and it's, it's, it's like an hour kind of journey of what, of somebody's life and what depression could look like through poems and like rock and roll songs and like very well written raps. I'm a very good rapper. And performed raps. And performed, yeah, raps, dance moves, moves. bright, bright, beautiful costumes. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, so the idea for the name came from, it was Winston Churchill, wasn't it, who called his depression his beautiful big black dog, is that right? Well, he called it his black dog, black dog. and then um, <laughs> I put beautiful in there. Um, why not? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I think I use that word quite a lot, so I was yeah. like, yeah, just whop that in. But also, I thought when I read that for the first time, when I was when when I was researching depression um, a lot because I hadn't been very well for quite a long time, I just thought it was kind of a perfect description. He'd he'd nailed it. Um, yeah, he'd nailed it visually for me. So yeah, well done, Winston. Like, yeah, right, shame yeah. is. Tory, but you know, he did good things. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't me. so, do you think it's a really important message for people who may be suffering with depression and everything because you're portraying it in such a joyous way and it's not a depressing performance or anything like that? Is it sort of, you know, you're trying to inspire people to live with it, to live with their black dog and everything like that? Yeah, I suppose it's about taking ownership over it. Yeah. Um, I suppose it's about taking ownership over it. So, with me, us making a show about it. We, we we made it in a way so I could explain what I'd been going through to my friends and family first and then we took it wider. Um, yeah, oh, I don't know, about taking ownership o yeah. uh, over it. But I'm not saying that depression's beautiful, actually, mm -hmm. but, but I'm saying that we are all beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And even though we've all got our own stuff inside that is difficult whatever it is whatever the stuff is that we we find difficult in life we're still blimmin incredible mm -hmm. and, and, and remember that try and remember that somewhere when times get really hard yeah, it's not all it is very uh, joyous and beautiful and bright but there is sad moments in the show because as Brie said in an hour we kind of cover the last three years for Brie so she goes really far down and then goes up at the end so hopefully audiences will have a little bit of a cry but then they'll leave dancing and singing yeah. um, and it's as much for people that are suffering with depression to be able to speak out as much as it is for those people that are living with people or friends with people have people in their family that are suffering to have a little bit of insight and understand and feel that they can talk to their mates or their loved ones about what they're going through so has this been quite an interesting experience for you as a director yeah it's been <laughs> <laughs> wait don't say all the bad stuff all right um, yeah, it's been it's it's been a heart project, and we've both called it our heart project. Obviously, it's close to Brigitte because it's her experience, but we've been working on this on and off for about the last three years, um, and uh, kind of doing it whenever we could do it, whenever we could get space, whenever we could get a bit of money, um, and it's because it's really important to me um, because I think it has a wonderful message, but also the way the work that we're making is really indicative of the work that I want to make, and we kind of bond over glitter and. David Bowie and Jarvis Cocker. So. Dolly Parton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boom, so you guys are actually selling some of the music from the show. You're releasing some of it. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. So the idea has always been when we first got together, us two. Mm. I, th I like to call it got together. <laughs> fell in love. <laughs> um, we both in the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a weird, it's a weird like love triangle. triangle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so we... Um, we always, we both love music um, and I've be, always made music uh, over the past six, seven years. So I've always wanted to release an album um, and um, we've recorded every song in the show with an incredible producer called Nick Trepka, who works with in some incredible people. He's like the Yorkshire Brian Eno, who's incredible. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, so the first single comes out tomorrow, and you can buy that. It's called Crescendorious, yep. and you can buy that um, on 
iTunes. And if you're not sure, you can listen to it. You can stream it on SoundCloud or there's a video on YouTube. Um, and then the album will come out after Edinburgh. Um, so yeah, you, it's, it's something that you can really listen to like on the train or something as well as watch. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking to us, guys. Oh, thank you oh, for having us. Yeah, you're you're lovely. Lovely. Yeah. You've been watching Waffle TV sponsored by Bulmers. <laughs>